Hello, hey, how you doing, YouTube? This is Brandy Man Cave. If you're new to my channel, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please show your support for my channel. For new subscribers, uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, people who are new to my channel here, we talk about video games, home entertainment, uh, movies, stuff like that. If you're into that type of thing, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate the uh, the support. So that for being said, six months already passed. We got six more left till 2024. Uh, this year's flying by quick. So I thought I'd do, um, you know, the the still books, my top ten still books so far in year 2024. So I'm excited about that. Um, there's plenty more um, throughout the year that's going to come out. Plenty more I'm going to add to the collection. But so far I'm just going to go over the top ten um, that I purchased and. You know, uh, hopefully throughout the year to the end of the year 2024, I share my top 10 of the year 2024 still books. Just as I did last year, I want to, uh, you know, get my top 24, I mean top 10 still book that I purchased through the year. So, so far, um, I didn't really purchase that many this year. Um, I grabbed all the still books uh, that I could think of that I brought uh, throughout the year 20 uh, of this year. And I thought I'd give you some mentionable, um, you know, honorable mentions and then go over my top 10 list uh i go straight to the point i'm not here uh trying to waste anybody time we'll make this uh, video that long maybe give a little reason why i like this still book and why i think is in my uh why i tell you why what i like about it why i put it in my top 10 but uh try to go over the uh, go through the list as soon as possible you know as fast as possible so uh, i'm not trying to waste any one time so if you enjoyed this video again click the like button um and uh show your support so I'm just going to hop into the honorable missions. Got a nice little stack right here. Go over this uh, this quick stack. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six. Still wasn't going to go over with you real quick. That's, that didn't make it to the, my top ten. Uh, it was really hard to make the top ten list as it always is. Uh, but, uh, you know, I dictate not as good as the movie. I, if I enjoy the movie, it just go by the, uh, the artwork they put on the still book and everything like that. So, and... Um, you know the theme that they put for the still book that that brought brought to my attention that I feel like it should be in my top ten, and then anything that don't really wow me, I just put it in honorable mention. So I'm just going with my honorable mentions real quick. So first, I got uh, Star Trek uh, three, the uh, the Search for Spock uh, still book. I like the still book. I like the little slip cover. I like how they got Spock face. It's like a 3D. You know, you can feel his uh, face coming through the on the front. I like the whole artwork in the back. Open it up. They don't have no artwork on the disc, but I like the, you know, I mean, they just got, you know, the the ship um, artwork in the um, inside. So this is going in the armor mission. They could have did a little bit more, but it is what it is. So that's that. Next, I got the Transformers uh, movie, still book, animated uh, cartoon. Uh, you know, not really much to it. Ain't really put much in the back. Just got the till all on um, till all or one. So, you know, just too plain for me, but definitely an honorable mention. Uh have uh, the Hollow Man. This one almost made it to my top ten. I like the uh, artwork in the front and I definitely like the artwork in the back. When I first seen it still book online, I you know, I, I wasn't really up and you know, really wanted to I mean I, I wanted it but I wasn't in no rush. But then when I seen the artwork uh, in stores, I went and um, purchased it, and plus it was at a good price. So, and then next one I had the uh, Anaconda one. Uh, I think this came out the same time as um, Hollow Man did. Like you know, got the artwork in the back with Jeff Lopez, uh, Ice Cube, and um, John Voight. Yeah, that's the name. Yeah, John Voight. Like I got the Anaconda eyes in the front. Um, you know, so pretty nice. I don't really think they had artwork inside. Uh, next, I got a uh, Walk Hard still book. I like the artwork in the front. I mean, the, I like the artwork in the back. This almost made it to my top ten, but it was just some that uh, outdid it. I like how they got the um, the this look like um, records. Thought that was neat, and uh, not really much much artwork inside, but definitely like the artwork in the front. Need to protect the cover on that one. And next, I have John Paul Van Damme Kickboxer. Also purchased this one. This was an honorable mention. Only thing I like about this is just the artwork. I really don't think the artwork is um, was any good. They could have done a lot. I just don't like the the blue and the red. But uh, you know, one of my favorite uh, my one of my favorite 
childhood martial arts movies. So I had to grab the still book. So that was my honorable mention. So next I'm going to break into my top 10. Starting with 10, work myself down all the way to number 1. And um, like I said, I'm going to try to go through this, uh, through this list as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, let me know what y'all think. Um, you know, what still book y'all like that I... Uh, that uh, popped up in my top 10. And if you do got the seal book, do you enjoy it yourself? Uh, just let me know. So next, uh, on my top 10 list, this is uh, number 10. This is the the Batman uh, 4K still book. I like, I like the artwork in the back with uh, Michael Keaton Batman in the back. I like the whole artwork in the front with the blue and the black. It really do scream Batman. Uh, I really did one of this still book as soon as I seen it. Um, you know, I don't have this movie on 4K, and that's another thing. It's a 4K disc up in here, so which I'm also uh, happy about. Also, I bought this from uh, Groove when they first came out. I, uh, as soon as I, I went and go ahead and uh, pre-order it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, but the artwork is great. Uh, so this is my number 10 in my top 10. All right. Uh, number 9, Ringo. I like those artwork. Uh, also like the fact of the slipcover. And the artwork in the back. So they did a great job on that. 4K still book of Ringo. Johnny Depp uh, cartoon. Got a little artwork in the front. This is plain. Um, but it's a nice still book. I like it. Made it on my top 10. Um, so like this one. Alright. That's number 9. Uh, next, number 8. I have uh, Bob Marley One Love still book. I like the colors. I like the uh, how they got the message in the back. Sometimes the messenger has to become the message. And uh, I like the whole uh, concept of this still book. Uh, really not much, but it just screams Bob Marley when you look at these colors and the artwork in the front. And, you know, they did a great job. I love it. You don't have to put too much to, um, you know, the screen. You know, the it's just that the thing, you know, it, it wasn't a lot going on here. But at the same time, I, I love the the vibe. So as soon as I seen the still book on um on uh where is this from? I think Amazon. I uh, pre order it and when it came in the mail, it just look even, look even greater in person. So glad I purchased this. Uh, so that make my uh, number eight still book. My top ten so far. Uh, like I said, towards the end of the year, it might not be in my top ten. Uh, there's a lot of um still books coming out. Uh, next I got Killer Clowns out of space. Um, I wasn't really in no rush of getting it, but when the price went down a bit. I went to decide and uh, brought it, and uh, glad I did because the artwork is great. I love the uh, the artwork in the back. Uh, they did a great job on this um, still book. Um, I love uh, it. It just it bring you know the circus onto the still book, and uh, you know I'm glad I brought it. So it was a weird ass movie, but glad I brought it. So that's a great still book. So that was already four went through. So. All right, so this will be number six, and that is the King Kong and Godzilla. Uh, which one is this one? <laughs> the New Empire. So new still book that just came out maybe about a month ago, uh, last month. Uh, I love the artwork. I like the purple. I like the pink. Uh, bring what's out. I just wish they did a little bit more in the back, but it was enough uh, for me to put this in number six on my top ten. Uh, couldn't wait to get it. When I seen it in person, it looked even better. I love the colors. It really... Uh, you know, brightens up on my shelf when I um, put it next to the other um, still books of this uh, monster universe. So, so far, so those those uh, five, uh, um, ten to uh, six just went through. So now I'm going to go over my top five in my collection of 2024 still books. Uh, the half the year is over. So I'm um, just going to go over my top five so far. So number five, I have the uh, Ghostbuster uh, Frozen Empire uh, still book. I love the uh, artwork in the front and have the car in the back, you know, open it up. It got the artwork inside, uh, you know, the discs and everything. So um, I like this still book. It really, uh, you know, I, I was waiting for it to go down price because it, it was high. So I finally decided uh, to, to, to buy it off of Amazon and I'm glad I did. Great purchase. I know they have a Walmart version. Um, I haven't seen a Walmart version yet. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Ghostbuster franchise. Uh, some of the remake, but you know, but um, you know, I was looking to get the Walmart one, just waiting for the go down price and no rush of getting it now that I got this version. Plus, it comes with the 4K. The one in the Walmart is only a Blu ray still book, so all right. Number four, uh, still book in my collection that is The Crow, 
This is the Walmart edition. They do had another edition that was on Amazon. I seen the other edition somewhere else. I just can't think of. I think it was Deep Discount. Um, I like that artwork as well, but I ran into this one at the store. It's the only one left on the shelf. And then, of course, I grab it and, uh, you know, I, I like, uh, you know, pull up the slip. You got Brandon Lee face right there. You have the crow in the back. Open it up. Got the crow, you know, inside with the wings. And then you got, you know, the disc. But no disc um, artwork, which is fine. But I do uh, love the still book. I love the concept of it. I love when you put the cover over, you see his eyes. So great still book. Uh, you know, if I ever run into the other still book, I don't know, I might purchase it. I really love the artwork on that one as well. I saw people post it on uh, YouTube and Facebook pages. It looked great. So uh, if I run into it, I don't know, I might buy it. Depends on how I feel. Uh, let's see. Now, coming down to the bottom three, I'm just going to pick up the other two, set them right here, make it easier for myself. These was, uh, I already knew when I purchased these, this is going to be at least in the top five, um, you know, top five still books uh, of the year. Uh, I can't see nothing really beating them, but, you know, never know. Um, you know, all these still books that have been, that have been popping off lately, especially at Walmart, I might, uh, you know, one might overtake the spot. So, uh, number three, that is Footloose still book. Um, you know, I love the fact that they made it into look like a tape recorder uh, or a Walkman. Walkman, I'm sorry, not tape recorder, a Walkman. And, uh, you know, got the stickers in the back. It just scream 80s. And, uh, you know, who who haven't seen Footloose? I just like the whole concept. I like the colors. I like, it remind me of, um, I forgot the name of the movie still book just give you that 80s vibe they did a great job on this one this one was definitely always was going to be on my top three as soon as i purchased it and i brought it so it's a great looking still book uh next uh this one was number one but then i forgot about one i did brought that i um that i love uh over this one and this is uh number two still book in my collection that is the um wonka still book uh I, I didn't even see the movie, but when I seen this still book, I knew I had to have it, and I'm glad I brought it. It's a great looking still book, you know, like a box of chocolate, um, you know. And it was an okay movie. When I first seen it, I wasn't, I'm not um, really into musicals, but it's an okay movie. Uh, really love the still book. It looked great. Um, you know, what can I say? Got the chocolate in the back, got the in the front. Um, you know, it's a great looking still book. So glad I purchased. It. Glad I did. At first, I wasn't gonna buy it, but I brought it, and I'm glad I did. So. That was number two. This is the number one still book. Actually, it's a nice little box set, but uh, it's a still book inside. I brought it earlier this year. Uh, they made only limited copies, and I was able to purchase. If I see it on, I seen it on eBay now. The price is ridiculous, uh, especially the other versions. But I felt like this is the best looking version. And that is the Man of Steel uh, box set. I love this box set. Um, purchased from eBay. Uh, as soon as I found out they made the new versions of it, I had to get it. So this is the still book inside, clean. I love you could touch, you know, the, the lettering. It's popping out on off the still book, open up. Got like a three disc inside, great still book. So for that being said, that was my top 10. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, hope y'all tune in to future videos. Plan on making plenty more. Um, thank you for tuning in and I'll talk to y'all later.